So this is my pick for the week that I'm bringing to Cousin Jeffro and Pops. Um, a lot of times I have chosen lesser known artists on this channel. And I do that, what I was just telling Jeffro here, uh, I do that to promote them and at the same time tell them in my way that I listen to them. That you appreciate them. That I, that I you know, keep doing what you're doing. Well, and um, I also think, like, we always talk, I mean, every video that I've done with you guys so far, how many of them are, like, me presenting something to you guys or your dad trying to get your take on a song that he right, likes? Right, So this right. is kind of, like, a good chance and for you to like, give us something. And we got, like, yeah. three different generations. Like, I'm basically 50. You're 38. I'll be 38 in December, yeah. And then... I'll be 21 in November. So, so we've got that, three generations. Yeah, so is that... Am I X? Yeah, you're Gen X. So that's YZ? Millennial. Yep. Oh, he's a millennial. Jeffrey's a... Out of Z, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So Gen X, millennial. millennial. I think Gen... I think millennials are Gen Y. It probably is, but they chose millennials and name, yeah. namesake. Yeah. Yeah, so we got three different generations, though, is, is basically the point. Right. To take, you know, our take on whatever, so... Um... So they're always going to be a little different, and our perspectives are going to be different. So yeah, yeah, and yeah, exactly. So um, Adam Jensen, he he's one of those guys that, I to my knowledge, has been on YouTube. That's how he started, to my knowledge. Um, but reading this, it makes me wonder. This song came out in 2016. Uh, it says here he has opened up for Kid Rock, Train, Tim Reynolds, and it's cool they didn't uh, Train and. Tim Reynolds. Yeah. yeah Kid Rock, know. I don't give a crap about. But. I don't know yeah. who Tim Reynolds is, but the other ones, yes. I've heard of Tim Reynolds. Before. I don't know Tim Reynolds. I know Train, and I've heard of Kid Rock. I couldn't tell you song by uh, He played his first gig at 15 years old, so that's pretty pretty up there. Uh, top three songs, Street Fight, The Hunter, and Dumb. Street Fight and Hunter are both bangers. But I brought this one because I think you guys will like this one best out of the ones he has. All right. Let's get so it. are you guys ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Lazy Boys thing. Why don't you, you haven't started, I don't think. No. I After a rec- how about you start? Okay. Um, so I will say right off the bat, that beat is catchy. Um, it definitely, the way it started, I like the way it kind of like, it had a vibe to it. Like that, that, the beat had a vibe to it. So I like that. Um, some of the lyrics, especially that bridge, I really like that bridge. Like, you know, trying to stay sober, trying to stay clean. Um, the whole thing about, you know, calling his mom and his sister to say goodbye, they would laugh at him. There were some lyrics in there that were really decent. Um, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what he's saying when he says, pull me out the mystic. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the one part. Do you under? My take on on what he's saying is like either out of the high because he tried to stay sober. Oh, okay. Pull him out of the high or maybe from the bleed out that he's saying goodbye of. Okay. Is, is how I interpret it. I could because that's what the only means. part for me that I was like, man, lyrically, I actually do like the song, but that part just didn't make any sense. Yeah, yet. like a, that's my intake. Yeah. I don't truly know. Yeah. So for me, it's a solid song. Um, you know, I definitely like I said. Obviously, I'm a the number two. Th- the two things about any song is like number one, the lyrics. Number two, if it catches me with the beat and like the melody. So. For me, this is a solid seven, you know, not one that like I'm going to play every day, but if it comes on, I definitely vibe with it. I mean, I think it's a solid song, you know, I think that if he had made it clear what he was talking about, pull me out the mystic, it could even go to an eight, but I still think it's a solid seven and anything above a five is a good song. So, all right, Pops, what you got? Uh, for me, like if, if I would have heard this song, I would have instantly known Young Lion would like it. I can just tell this would be like one of his type of songs. As I, far do have, as, I do have one of those tastes. Um, so I would know this would definitely fit something in his genre that he it would listen to. kind of had like an Imagine Dragons. I don't know if you ever listened yeah, to that. Yeah, I know who they are, yeah. yeah I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Um, and as with most of Young Lion's songs, I'm not super big on them. This, like, you know, like I always say, I'll always be a word man over a bird man. So I like the lyrics. I always pay attention to whatever the lyrics, whatever the guy's trying to say. Obviously, he's got like an addiction problem, and he's he's battling it. So I definitely like the message. And uh, his sister and his mom is uh, obviously giving up on him, and he's battling. I definitely like his overall message and the lyrics of the song, which will give me make me give it a little bit of a higher rating than what maybe I would have just from listening to the actual song. Uh, as far as just the overall. You know the the melody, musicianship, just whatever the song. I mean, it's like I can take it or leave it. It's not like it, I didn't suck, but it's not like nothing like super awesome to me. So you're more of a guitar guy, though. Pr- yeah, you like you, well, like, you yeah. like instruments themselves. Like you always That's vibe more true. with like either like even when we talk about like songs with beats, like it's more of an authentic beat. This sounds like something Imagine Dragons came up with. Yeah. For you, like I see you with a guitar, a piano, like probably so. Even probably a unique so. beat probably would hit you better. Yeah. So, um, but I'm not totally totally hating on it though. Uh, I would if I had to give it a score though, it would be just above average at a six. It's better than I thought I was gonna give it. I'm gonna be right. I thought I was gonna give it like a four or five. So I think <laughs> his voice too for me is a little. I don't know. There's something about his voice that kind of I wasn't a huge fan of. Mm-hmm. For me, for me, I had to give it a look slightly above average. I did like the lyrics. I like the like his words and okay, so. that, and that's why I chose it because of the lyrics yeah. for you guys. Yeah, it's good. Um, he has the other song, Street Fight, and um, he has another song called Drugs. that's pretty good. I don't know. I can't remember the Which other. Which kind of what you were saying? But, like clearly, he's writing about a certain. Yeah. Uh, street Fight's pretty good. It's literally just about street fighting. So. Um, I mean, I don't really got as much else to say than that. What's your song? Cause, well, because well, I started off by saying pretty much everyone. Well, what do you give it though, as far as uh, I give it um, probably seven point five. I do like this song, but I would prefer to listen to a more uh, like jam out song. This one's kind of more one of those like put it on the background and probably eat some pizza or something. One of those. Yeah. To to me is how I see it. Like a chill vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I could see this like um, just like I thought you were gonna say some edibles. I'm like some edibles? I don't know if you want some edibles listening to this song that doesn't really match. Um I knew. Well, no, <laughs> I knew it, it was going there since you said it. This, this song drugs is literally about just dropping acid and stuff. It's awesome. 
Well, and I think it's it's a, like I said, it's a solid song. It's nothing that yeah, yeah. we're gonna be like, oh my god, let's go listen to that Mystic song right yeah, now. Like, yeah, yeah. it's a solid song. It's definitely one I wouldn't change if it was playing, but I'm not gonna personally go be like, you know, I gotta check out the Mystic. Yeah. But yeah, I would yeah. be interested to at least hear a little couple more songs by him, like. Because he is lyrically, he's pretty good. So yep. I think that that would definitely help. And maybe, you know, even some of the bands I like, there's always a couple songs where I'm like, skip. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. Or, so Everything's got battle.